Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to a new Maple Star Let's Play that I'm going to start, and it is with the character that you see right in front of you, Shade. Now, I think I, I know I'm two, le two weeks late with this or so, um, and I don't know, I think I've just been living on the rock for a couple of weeks, but I'm doing it now, so please forgive me for that. Um, and we're going to be doing Shade, so let's get in the channel. I don't know why the music's not on, but whatever. Um, let's check out this whole description thing here. Uh, Shade, the forgotten sixth hero of the Maple World. Shade made the ultimate sacrifice to seal the Black Mage reborn. Oh, to, to seal the Black Mage. Reborn with this, in a strange land, he must come to terms with the world that has moved on without him. Shade calls on powerful spirits to empower his attacks and gains incredible moment, momentary boost through his skills. Now, his attack is pretty high. His defense is his high stat. His mobility is pretty decent. And the difficulty is uh, actually kind of low, as in it's pretty easy. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, start this up, and let me put this in, and I'll be right back. So what happened? This is a. Uh, it, it had start. I I had started recording this earlier, and uh, it got messed up in the recording. So now I'm recording it again, and I've it skipped some parts, some readings about the black mage and stuff. Um, you know, so so this is not the first part of the of the intro. So we're gonna just continue from here. Um. Basically, he's supposed to come in here. Uh, this is probably the story with the Black Mage, like Lumina Luminous and Phantom were up front, were in front of the gate or the castle or whatever. And now here's Iran, and she looks quite messed up. So I don't know what's going on here. I think they're perfect for each other. One's a chatterbox, and one's other. And the other one is boring. Uh, they like a never-ending stand-up routine. All right, haha, true. You know they take you apart if you heard. If they heard you say that. Oh look, another round of monsters is coming. Alright. Definitely looks like some black mage monsters. Here, I'll take care of them. Are we gonna attack here? Or oh, we're not? Shade is a beast. Are you gonna stay? Oh man. Oh good, I pressed back. <laughs> yeah, someone's gotta watch this hall. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the black mage just yet. Yeah, you do not look ready for the black mage. Uh, I'll go in first, see you later. Okay. Alright. Aran felt uneasy. Something made her think that perhaps this was the last time she would see her friend. Was it intuition or maybe an omen? Alright. Oh god, there's Mercedes and Evan and Luminous. Things were looking grim. The Black Mage was stronger than anyone expected. The heroes could not overcome the incredible power wielded by the Black Mage. There was only one option left to see the Black Mage behind the Seal of Time. Alright. I've activated all five seals. Now what? Uh, Freud. All, all there is left to do is to... Uh, take the black mage's power of time. There's just one catch. Uh, catch? What kind of catch? To activate uh, the seal of time, we need uh, we need the time from a person, a living person, like a sacrifice. Don't make that face. I will do it. Don't say that. Why would you do that? Because I made it. Besides, I like the idea of being the big hero for once. I'm tired of clearing up your messes cleaning up your messes anyway. How can how can I guess <laughs> I guess they forgot a letter I mean a word here, so how can you make jokes jokes in this situation? No, I'll do it. I've got nothing to lose. Luminous, I know how you feel. But this, I'll do it. Oh stop it. We have uh, we have the fate of Maple World in our hands right now. We can't be getting emotional now. That's why I'll do it. I know better than anyone here that your health cannot handle the seal. Ooh. That's interesting, but I can. Luminous, you're the only one who can activate the seal. We need your power of light to end this. But we have to sacrifice someone. How can we decide something like that? It's easy. Let me do it. I have no family, no clan. I want to miss except you lot, I suppose. Look, we're running out of time. Let's get this over with. And 
and then we can argue ab about it in an afterlife. Deal? Apparently that's a deal. Hold it. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Look at me go. Alright, let's do this. Man, I'm fading away. Did I die? Probably. Oh, it's those little kids, what the heck? Ugh. Where is this? Oh, it woke up, it's up! It even spoke, it knows how to speak! Did you see that? Its eyes are round. It's so huge, maybe we'll get eaten. Uh. Hey, I think it's sick. Ask if it's hurt. Why do you keep bugging, budging me? I'm scared. You scaredy cats, move over. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. It's it's howling in my head. But where is this? Who are you? I would like to know that too. We we're the pointy-eared foxes. We live here. Who are you? How'd you get here? This is our territory. Pony-eared foxes and unknown race. They do resemble foxes, but those ears and tails. Hmm. I'm a human. I just came from near the Temple of Time. Where is this near? Human Temple of Time. Never heard of those before. Not now the Temple of Time. How did far? How far did I come? Where is this? Not know the Temple of Time. My bad. Uh, two moons. Ooh, okay, so there's one moon there. Where's the other one? There's always two moons. Human, you feeling okay? Always two moons? That's not possible. <laughs> and my level is 10. What happened? <laughs> oh, man. I knew it. Something was off from his earless looks. It must It must be stupid. Maybe that's why it got abandoned. Oh, poor thing. We have no choice. Let's take it back to the town. Alright, but the adults would be mad if we bring an outsider. But we can just leave it here. But we can't just leave it here. I'll take full, res full responsibility. Let's go. Oh boy. Alright, what are you doing? Oh, uh, whoa, no tail for reals. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit just so that we can do a little bit more. Okay, let's go. Are all humans this slow? It's because you don't have a tail. Is it because you don't have a tail? Uh, you're too slow. I'm going to go first. Roman said it's not too dangerous here, so just follow me. Just follow my path. Don't go off running away. Okay, good human. See you soon. Okay. Now, this is where we quote-unquote learn how to play. Um, I don't know how loud it is. Um... I mean, I guess it should be fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it should be fine. So let's just keep on going. This is where they teach us, quote, unquote, because I'm a nub. A nub. Oh, look, it's store. Do I have, I don't have any of my money. Oh, well. What's in here? Just potions. I don't know what I am. It, yeah, look, it's a question mark, question mark. What the heck? Oh, look. Oh, oh, I do got my money swag. All right. 
There's the chief fox. And we click this moon. Moon bean, whatever. Alright, oh hey man. Oh hey human, you're finally here. I figured you wandered off by now. Nope, still here. Actually, I got in a lot of trouble with the grown ups. They said I can't trust strangers. That you might be dangerous, but look at you. No claws, no fangs. You're like a tasty bunny. Oh my god, they eat bunnies. That's cruel. Alright, so we gotta go see the grandpa, which is apparently this dude right here. Alright, so you're the new fangled human causing uh, the stir around here. My goodness, just look at you. No ears, no tail. What a pity. You probably can't even feed yourself. <laughs> Why do they think he's stupid? That's hilarious. Oh, uh, look, this is not just a big, big understanding where I'm from. Alright, skip it a little bit. Must return to, and they're not listening to him. Alright, let's see what he wants. A new name. Uh, so your your name is Human, right? That's rather silly. You don't see any foxes named Fox now, do you? Alright, no, my name is... Uh, what was it that Freud used to call me? Uh, not I don't strain yourself. Uh, Muddy... What? What the hell are you going to call me, dude? Oh, no, look. I have my own... Jeez. Grandpa. These are terrible names. Oh, of course, they're terrible names. They, didn't, they weren't even names. Like, what are you trying to do here, man? Alright, I'll go with Shade. There we go. Can those question marks turn back to normal now? Yeah, there we go. Shade. Alright, so... It's a warrior? That's the last thing Maple Story needs is another warrior. I thought this was going to be a thief. Oh, well. Oh, well. Alright, let's see what kind of skills I got here. Of course... Link manager and crap. Swift strike. Volp sleep. Co cosmic balance. These are first level shade. Now let me let me see what is this? The blessing. Heavens, earth, and earth permanently increases your weapon and magic defense. Oh, max. Oh, nice. All right. So I guess. This I'll do last. I'll do one on Swift Strike. Just so that I have an attack. And the leap. Yeah. Allows you to do a double jump. Alright, so let's just put that here somewhere. And I always... I don't know why. But... Um, I always put the leap thing, like, as C or something. Actually, wait, I probably don't even need to do that. Because if I just double tap the jump button, oh, you know what, I probably should have to put the strike as A. But if I just double hit, yeah. I don't know why MapleStory always freezes with that, but hey, got that done. Now we're going to go this way. And now I have no MP. I don't know why I did that. It, I don't even go anywhere there. What happened? House, new name. But what happened to my friends? To my friends, are they alive? Damn right, they're alive. All right, level ten. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to end this episode here. And in the next episode, we're going to continue. Uh, what's up? With shade here, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.